Next up is item B2. This is the report regarding facilities, maintenance, and operations project. Dr. Gonzalez. Uh, yes, sir. This is a monthly report for facilities, maintenance, and operation. Dr. Barrera and Ruben Trevino are here to present this month's projects. Good evening. Uh, this is uh, the uh, facilities monthly report that uh, We'll be presenting tonight for the month of August. Some of the projects here have been completed over the summer. The uh, first uh, project on the list of completion is the uh, tennis courts at Lincoln. Uh, those were completely re uh, refinished over the summer and have been completed from about uh, two to three weeks ago. The uh, next item is a Mackay um, HVAC install for the uh, gymnasium that is now uh, working, we're working on the final uh, 30 days of the contract to tie up little loose ends um, with the contractor. Uh, as per contract, we're 30 to 40 days away, uh, but it's already substantially complete and is in, in use already. We also have some uh, completed uh, projects throughout the district that included the uh, paving uh, of three different areas. This one here is the uh, Milam Elementary concrete uh, drive with the uh, teacher parking lot in asphalt. We completed that this summer. The addition, the next one is the uh, Mackay Bulldog from Bicentennial to 23rd Street. It was uh, completely redone. We also had uh, three cafeteria freezer coolers installed at three different campuses, Roe, Morris, and Travis. FMO was uh, did all of the electrical in-house from uh, the building to the uh, panel boxes going out to the freezers. Now the only thing pending on that is the fencing that goes around them, uh, but they're already fully operational. We also had the uh, refinishing of the di uh, district gyms, district-wide. Uh, that was done prior to school starting towards the end. All of them have been completed. We had several uh, VCT installs where uh, uh, carpets had to be removed over the summer, replaced with uh, the uh, VCT flooring. Uh, that included Milam Portable uh, Gym Office over at Milam. The Milam uh, Library was completely redone. The Navarro uh, Classroom, Mackay Classrooms, Fossum Life Skills Classroom, Fossum Administration Area, and four uh, special ed offices over in the special ed building. We also had portable relocations, uh, two portables, four classrooms uh, fully completely renovated and moved over to Achieve Early College High School, which are those two right there, and uh, four classrooms that were also moved to Lamar Academy that are already completed as well. We had the install of three band towers, one at each high school in each of the parking lots. This was a project funded through um, Fine Arts, and we oversaw the construction and the administration of the installation. Uh, at the time of this report, we, we the Morris parking lot was still ongoing. Uh, it's now being completed. It was the entrance drive, and we had uh, two alternates to that uh, contract, which included adding um, approximately 12, 14 spaces on the main drive, main loop that you see there in the front, and adding an additional parking space on the east side of the campus. We also had ongoing projects for our painting department for the summer. We had uh, Mackay classrooms, Memorial, Row, uh, CTE classrooms at Mackay and, and Row, both completed. Uh, the stadium press box was, uh, had a little bit of uh, work done on the inside. Uh, portables, those have been completed as well. Parking lot striping, there's a couple of them left. And fire lane uh, striping was all completed to be able to go with the uh, uh, fire marshal reports. We've also had several plumbing projects for the plumbing department, which include the uh, irrigation repairs and some additional irrigation systems, Memorial High School, Morris, uh, Row, Athletic Fields is ongoing, the school entrances is still ongoing, several water fountain replacements throughout the district that is ongoing. HVAC units, um, these are more of the major, uh, bigger units that, that have been replaced district-wide. 
Houston Elementary, uh, we had three units that were replaced. Lincoln, we replaced four units, rooftop units. Memorial High School, uh, 20 ton condenser for the office area that controls that whole area was replaced. Garza, we had a, uh, another 12 unit uh, completed. <coughs> Along with Alvarez, we had two chillers uh, fully replaced. One chiller at Travis that is already complete and another chiller at Roosevelt that has been completed. We also had um, one uh, air handler completed at uh, Rayburn and uh, Memorial is also complete. On the construction projects, we've got the science labs with the architect working on the design proposal at the time. We have the ag farm, which the engineer has already started to work on the subdivision process and utility work to come up with a plan of action. Uh, we also have the uh, CTE Boys Restroom ADA modifications that needed to be done before school year uh, for Memorial High School. Those have been completed. Also, we had a, a life skills uh, room remodel at Travis. The uh, safety entrance for our warehouse uh, entrance has been completed as well and all the fire inspections were done district-wide. Electrical projects, the walk-in freezer cooler installs that I mentioned earlier, computer lab at Thick Pensavala, portable relocations, everything uh, was done in-house, and exterior lighting maintenance uh, continues. The total work orders for the month of July was 582 and 415 that were completed. Thanks, sir. Any questions for Mr. Trevino? Just a couple, couple quick questions, Mr. Mr. Alvarado. Um, on Travis um, and the tennis courts, do we have a, I, I noticed that the, we open it up during the day and the city comes in, you know, allows people to come and use it. Do they help us with any of, of the upkeep or is that on us totally? As far as the maintenance, we are responsible for maintaining the courts on the outside, fencing, um, however, there's different uh, memorandum of understandings with the city on different uh, areas that are used at different times that were created. Uh, we can go back and check. Well, and it's probably a bigger picture. I, I do think we've been discussing it. I think we need to sit down, form that committee of board members um, and city commissioners, city manager. And this is one item, too, because they, they use this a lot. And whatever mem memorandum of understanding we have is probably old, so we probably need to go back and revisit it, this and all the other stuff that we have. So I do know that the couple of times that Dr. Gonzalez and I have met with Mayor Darling and, and uh, City Manager Rodriguez, uh, they've talked about the amount of memos of understandings and the time that it would have a legal assistant go through just to review and make sure that we're all on the same page. Uh, it's something that we're looking at getting completed as quickly as possible. It's just finding the, the man hours in order to get somebody paid to get it done. Okay. Well, I think the other thing, though, is the committee, though, we had talked about maybe forming another subcommittee just on to have regular discussions on. Okay. Uh, and, and I know it's a little... It's kind of related to this because I was watching the guys play and that green little fencing thing one was kind of messing with it and you can see in this picture uh, part of it's up already so you're you're kind of like come on guys it's not you know on the windscreen yeah the windscreen yeah anyway uh, so I appreciate that and this the other question was in regards to the gym re uh, refinishing we still pending Matt Kai in row for the bleachers and i know we did memorial last year and the reason we did those bleachers uh because they're the original ones and it was a safety issue not just for sports but for the school whenever they used it and what have you so we're, we're still pending matt kai and row sometime in the next couple of months is my understanding yes yeah, so we've got the row uh, scheduled to be completed by november the third or fourth uh, the bleachers should arrive here on the last by the second week of october um, and uh, Mac High is scheduled to be completed in the summer. Oh, okay. So I guess the, I was bringing up just on the refinishing of the gym, it's not going to affect any, you know, they'll probably lay something before they do it. It's like a two or three day process. No, the, the row uh, bleacher change out is a complete uh, bleacher uh, replacement, the like the one that we did at, at Memorial. Right. That's going to take about two two weeks, but two we've weeks. already scheduled with the coaches. There's one one main game that'll be moved, um, and I believe that's a that's a volleyball game that's, that was scheduled to play at Row. They're going to be playing it at Memorial instead, 
and that's a two week window that the contractor will have to come in and, and do the complete bleacher install so that we can have everything ready for the regional tournament that'll be uh, hosted by McAllen. Will we have to go back and refurnish the? No. no. The, the, the floor will be completely covered and the floor is actually used as a staging area for the uh, new bleachers. Okay, that, that's all I had, sir. Thank you, Ruben. Thank you, sir. I just have a request if we can get an updated slide. I know page 26 in our packet is a little bit different than the one we presented here, so if we can just in our Dropbox get an updated, that would be great. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. President. Trustee Saliba. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, of the 582 requests, 450, how many of those involve uh, painting classrooms? If any, in July. Any requests for painting classrooms? There's, uh, there's, there's quite a bit of them. Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't know a, a, an exact number, um, but I know that normally that number is a lot higher during the year um, because of the summer projects. One, work, one of those work orders might be replacing a whole roof uh, on a portable building, or you know, redoing a whole ramp, uh, you know, in, on a portable building. So. It will take, you know, a lot more man hours, but it's still only one single work order that we're using for that one standalone project. So it can vary from painting a classroom, which is, is still take time. Yes. But it could be much more involved as far as that worker is concerned as to the amount of time and effort and yes. the resources and the trades that are involved. Okay. Is there any way to find out how many of these requests that involve teacher requests for painting their classrooms that could not be done or was not done? We can, we can find that out. Okay. Um, and the other question I had um, is uh, we've seen a lot of effort and a lot of work and we really appreciate that and thank you very much for doing all these projects, uh, using the resources and information that's been readily available to you. Um, but one of the questions I have is uh, where are you in timeline I guess it would be to either Dr. Gonzalez, maybe, uh, for Brown Middle School. Because we've seen a lot here tonight on the, you know, Morris and Travis and, and, and De Leon and Kathy, and, and in the previous meetings the same. And that's great. It's all good and fine because they, they do need to have a dress. But uh, a little su surprised, you know, what the timeline might be for uh, and what projects may be forthcoming if we know at this point for Brown Middle School. Yes, sir, we can review replacement schedules and get back to you as soon as possible. We'll let the board know. At this point, one of the major projects that's coming up that's in design already is the uh, repaving and re redoing of the parking areas for Brown. Okay. And that we already have uh, the budget set. Right. And, and for this year. Is that, was they, were they already included in the resurfacing, the chart we have? No. Were they, they were not either? No. Okay. We have four new camp four campuses that will be done this year. Well, I see Brown Middle School uh, gym was. I, I missed that, but it shows here that it was done. The, the gym. Resurfacing. No, the gym resurfacing. I'm, yeah, I'm talking gym. about the exterior parking lot. The exterior parking lot. I'm oh, sorry, I misunderstood. Okay. Very good. So that's forthcoming. Yes, sir. That's already on the budget for this year, along with four, uh, four other campuses. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further questions, comments? None being heard. We'll move on to our next item.